What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. The weather has not been cooperating at all the past couple weeks, so I do apologize for the delay in some of the updated videos. Um, today I'm actually just going to go ahead and uh, you know, run out to Harbor Freight, get a couple little things, run some, some other errands. Maybe if the weather kind of holds up a little bit today, it's just been so cold, so windy, it's been pouring down rain, uh, just haven't really been good for filming or anything like that. So uh, today I might try to get into a review video on a foam cannon I got on Amazon. I just haven't had much time to use it at all or try it out. So uh, if I get a chance, I'll try to get that going today. So uh, stay tuned. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a quick review on this right here. It is the Twinkle Star foam cannon. I got this on Amazon. It was about, about $17. So I want to do a quick review on this because I, I read a lot of great reviews on this compared to some of the more expensive foam cannons. So I just wanted to kind of check it out for myself and see what it's all about. I will be using this product here, the Chemical Guys Extreme Body Wash and Wax. We're gonna give that a shot. I'm gonna be using the pressure washer here. My wife got me for uh, Christmas. So we're gonna to try to wash the, uh, the beast over here real quick. Now I do wanna apologize for not getting as many videos up lately. The weather has just not been cooperating. We've had you know, temperatures from zero degrees to 40 degrees, sunny days that turn straight into monsoon, rainy days. It's just been nuts around here lately in Pennsylvania. So today it's been pouring down rain all day. It just stopped right now. So I figured let's just try to get this video out of the way, put some, some content out there for you guys. And uh, I'll do my best uh, despite the weather not cooperating. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. But before we get into that, I just wanna let you know, I did go out this morning, uh, stop at one of my favorite places, which is Harbor Freight, and I grabbed some new goodies. So let's take a quick look at that. First of all, I picked up a new uh, jigsaw for my wife because she has some woodworking uh, projects she has coming up she wanted to do. So I got a real good uh, deal on that. That was, I think, about 20 bucks. Um, I picked her up some jigsaw blades as well. I got a free LED light. Uh, I picked up some mechanic gloves for you know when I'm changing the oil and, and fuel filters and such in my truck. Grabbed some zip ties for like a buck. These were like a buck 50, I think. The, the gloves were like a dollar. The blades were like $3. Um, they had this uh, tool right here. It's a telescoping magnetic pickup tool. So in case you like drop a screw down in your engine bay and you can't get your big fingers down in there like I have, uh, that works out really well. That was like a buck 50. I grabbed this little four pack of funnels. That was like a buck. Grabbed a big funnel. Uh, I like to use funnels like this when I'm putting like additives in my fuel tank and my diesel truck because it has like that double door system, like the top first door and then the door below. So the long spout comes in really handy. That was like a buck 50. Um, I did pick this up. I'm gonna give it a try. I've been looking for a torque wrench and um, they had these on sale. This one here is a half inch drive. It goes up to, I believe, 100 foot pound, I'm sorry, 150 foot pounds of uh, torque there from 20 to 150. And um, read some really good reviews on it. They compare it to some of the other you know, more expensive name brand products out there. But this one right, right here, I think at Harbor Freight, this exact one was going for about $40. They had it on sale with a coupon today uh, for $9.99. So 10 bucks, guys, for a torque wrench. I mean, here's the way I look at it. Even if it falls apart in a year, it was worth 10 bucks. I even had a 20% off coupon on that, so you can't beat it. Plus, you can't go wrong with good old Pittsburgh because got to represent PA here. So, and also look at this. Nice big towing chain. Grade 4.3, uh, 3 8 by 14 feet long. Brand spanking new, okay? That right there was going for about $40. Um, on sale for $40 and then I got it on a coupon sale today for $19.99 plus 20% off. So I got a ton of stuff today. So it was awesome. I had a great trip. Let's go ahead and get into this review guys on the Twinkle Star foam cannon spray nozzle. Comes with the extra tips if you need, but my pressure washer already came with tips. So I don't know if I actually use these or not, but let's go ahead and get this thing put together and see, uh, see how it goes. And we'll go from there. Here we go. We're going to do a quick unboxing of the Twinkle Star Foam Cannon 
spray nozzle tips included. Just gonna open this up. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So here you got all your different spray nozzle tips here. Okay, nicely made, nice brass fittings, pretty heavy. Got your feed tube. And you got your reservoir. And it comes with the actual measurements up the side as well. And it's left in the box, maybe some instructions and such, but other than that, let me get this put together. Okay, we're back. So I went ahead, opened up the box. As you can see here, this is very well made. Uh, nice brass fittings. I put the, uh, the, the suction tube here. I've um, got a quick release valve here. This right here is your adjustment nozzle. So obviously adjusting it all the way to the right to the negative side is gonna give you maximum foam. Adjusting it all the way to the left to the positive side is gonna allow for more water. And more water is gonna pretty much mean less foam. Um, and then up here on the nozzle, you can actually um, twist the front nozzle here and open up the inside obviously keeping it as close to closed as possible is going to give you maximum foam turning it the other way will be the opposite so i already went ahead and filled this up with some more water to about here um, they say use about six ounces of soap so that's what we're going to do we're going to guesstimate here i'm going to pour it in a good bit of soap here just to get that up See if we can get that going and we'll get this tube in there okay and that's pretty much about it right there give it a little shake hook it up to your pressure washer and let's get it going let's get started okay we're back we're gonna get this hooked up and we're gonna start spraying some foam There you go. Foam's pretty well. I might have to try a couple different soaps, but I think for now, this will do. Uh, get that soap scrubbed all over the truck and then rinse it off and then we should be good. Okay, we just got this side rinsed off. Uh, everything's doing really well. I will say at first, I thought the soap that I was using wasn't that great, but I think after I put a little bit more soap, the uh, reservoir made a few adjustments. I got a lot of foam and it worked out really well. So, so far, so good. Be back. Okay, there we go. Got everything rinsed off. It's looking really, really sharp. What I also like to do after I've cleaned the wheels, which works really well, is this uh, tire kicker, tire shine, chemical guys. Works really well. All I do is basically give a good coat. A couple times around. 
and let it sit and it does its job and it ends up looking really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Sorry guys, trying not to rush this video, but there's another storm blowing in because uh, it's been nothing but rain around here lately. So I'm just trying to get some content out there for you guys to see, but the uh, weather has not been cooperating at all for me in the past two weeks. Hopefully uh, with spring right around the corner, Hopefully I can start putting more content out there for you guys just because the weather will be a little bit nicer and I could do a little bit more things. Plus, I do have some new mods coming to the truck soon. So we'll be working on that and I'll be getting new tires because these, these tires right now, these are running pretty low. The tread's running pretty low and that's a 20 inch rim, uh, 20 by 14. So I think what I'm going to be doing is getting some 24 by 14s and maybe stick with some 40s, but maybe try a different tire. So there it is, guys quick review of the twinkle star foam cannon does a pretty good job i can't complain i think what i wouldn't mind doing is trying the foam cannon out with a couple different soaps and then we'll see which one soaps up and foams up the best okay guys that's it that's a quick review on the twinkle star foam cannon so far so good i'm very happy with it I think for the price at around $17, it's a great buy. So if you are looking for a foam cannon, I definitely suggest this one because it does a great job. Um, I have to try a couple different uh, soaps out to see which one creates the most foam. Uh, but today I was using the Chemical Guys foam. It did really well. I just had to put enough in there. But I'm gonna probably have to end this video because the storm's blowing in, the rain is coming. Uh, so I'll catch you in the next one. Again, I appreciate all of you. So if you could like this video, I'd greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel. Again, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll come up with the next video soon.